Today I wanted to do a review of the multi holster, you know, two in one. Now this one it was specifically loaned to me by Lionheart Industries, and uh, this they've been really busy lately with uh, some projects, and they haven't had the time to do an in-depth analysis uh, if it's uh, worth them selling on their website. So if you're not familiar with the Lionheart LH9. I've done a lot of reviews on that and I encourage you to go to my playlist section where I have a huge playlist discussing my reviews of this and I've got it up to over 15,000 rounds and actually it's more around 16,000 and I have had certain parts breakages and stuff like that with the journey and it's been very rough but overall it is one of my favorite metal frame pistols so I like to work with Lionheart a lot to kind of learn more about it. and. Uh, I see what I can do to get it a lot of attention because I think if it gets more than, you know, it'll it'll uh, draw more attention and uh, it'll help them with uh, getting sales. And with that said, let's go ahead and move on to the holster itself. This is a multi holster, two in one holster. Now, multi holsters as a company was one of the original Kydex holster companies that uh, started up in the early 2000s or mid to late 2000s, where they actually noticed that uh, in the Kydex market, there were very few left-hand uh, holsters, Kydex holsters that actually featured an ability to um, insert a pistol with a lighter laser attachment. And the owner, Tony, it, it is a pretty small company. They employ less than a dozen people, but the owner, uh, needed wanted to go ahead and do it himself and uh, kind of do a di a diy uh making these these holsters and he as a, a reserve police officer or a deputy or some other as a reserve law enforcement officer he uh, made some for his colleagues and he got a lot of good feedback and therefore the company kind of launched and he's done a lot of uh, work with with other companies that are uh, that make holster parts, and he's invented a lot of uh, systems. And the two-in-one holster is one of the systems that he really, uh, really took upon himself to uh, sort of add a unique feature to to holsters and offer the most versatility. And I really found that to be true. Now, let me go ahead and take the pistol out and show you what I'm talking about as far as versatility. Now, if you're familiar with Vetter holsters, you'll probably notice that uh, the, the area here for the outside of the waistband actually will extend all the way to the bottom or up here to uh, this last notch and also for this side as well. So the versatility for uh, it, making the extreme cant or adjusting the height is actually quite limited. Tony kind of took that out of the equation by making this unique you know, attachment where you have a lot more versatility. And also, this is a two-in-one as in you know, outside the waistband and also inside the waistband with the certain clips that are available. And last time I talked to him, he's going to go ahead and um, make sure that you uh, guys have options to, if you get a two-in-one, to get instead of just the outside standard, you know, belt loops like here or the speedies clips uh, that he has, which is a lot easier to take off the holster after a competition or what have you, instead of having to unthread the holster from it. He he also uh, is going to look at, at being able to kind of say, no, I don't want an outside the waistband. This is specifically for inside the waistband. But if I want it, I'll go ahead and buy the outside the waistband clips if if I feel is necessary because before you could buy a package with those uh, with the uh, ability to switch them out you can buy the different clips and hardware so with that let's go ahead and talk about customization right off the bat this is a custom this is a custom holster he does have some that are basically uh, using the most popular pistols out there and those are the options that you have right off the bat and it's uh, typically a standard of about $75 and the custom holster allows you to select a lighter laser. There's an incredible amount of variety that is available. And the most you will have to pay for that attachment is $30, but there's only one that actually is, costs $30. But you actually get a free upgrade. Um, and for the more popular 
um, of lights, you actually and crimson trace and stuff like that, the, you actually get it for free. So there's no extra charge for asking for a, a pistol mold or a holster mold to allow the pistol to have a light and laser and holster it. So there's no upgrade up charge for that. So uh, for companies like uh, Streamlight, the TLR series, and Crimson Trace, you get it for free on that upgrade. And with that, you also get a variation of colors. Now, when you are varying the holster uh, color, like this one, this is the uh, carbon fiber uh, a pattern and with that he uses whole stacks and then he has other holsters that are uh, a little more simple and a little more budget friendly I guess you could say uh, this holster actually starts out as a uh, it, it's a kydex standard and it's all black and it, if you get no other options or if you select nothing else or you get the free uh, upgrade for certain lights and lasers, then it'll cost about $75 right off the bat. But with the versatility, I think the value is definitely increased. Everything's American made and he's very careful about his sourcing. So in general, for a small company, there's a lot of attention to detail that goes into holsters and the quality is through the roof from my evaluation. So I definitely did recommend that Linehart proceed and try to uh, do business with him as an available option for their pistols. So with that, you do have a lot of options and some color upgrades are actually, well actually pretty much all uh, color upgrades have an, a certain upcharge. Flat colors are typically only five or ten dollars and then you can even get Cryptek, the newer Cryptek, and basically all of them are available and it's a special dip process that they do in order to get those holsters. Now beyond that you also have a different holster that they recently came out with called the Torn Holster where it basically looks like there's a scratch uh, there's two scratches where it's uh, where it's different colors and I really like the selection that they have they have simple budget friendly uh, holsters and then you can get a custom holster and it's basically the the only two-in-one holster that ha that's actually been completely functional in in my evaluation and the funny thing is that if you look at the inside of the holster it is a complete mirror image of the pistols that you are using you can even send in if they do not have what you want like certain revolvers if you actually want to carry like a Webley or whatever you can actually send it into them and just like Lionheart did they send in their pistol because it wasn't available they actually sent in the Mark II the railed version and you can send it in and they will do a custom mold and I do not believe there is an upcharge for that but I could be wrong but I'm Tony does run his own YouTube channel he has a Twitter account Facebook and etc and Instagram but he runs his own YouTube channel where he actually describes how to use the different products and he also has given uh, some prototypes the last one that he did was last year so uh, you know I hope to see some more stuff and he's uh, currently working on other projects to kind of answer the market's needs but being a small company they have been flooded and inundated with custom orders and they are backlogged a little bit at the time of this video so if you're seeing this in like six months then it'll probably have changed but in general I think this is an amazing company and I think Tony did an excellent job he answers his own emails a lot most of the most of the questions go right to him and you can talk to him personally if you have any questions. So being a small business, he's doing an incredible job and this is a very innovative uh, solution to some of the problems since uh, carrying the light and laser is becoming a very mainstream thing and also carrying certain sites, red dot sites are actually becoming very popular so this is probably the most versatile thing I've ever seen for you know carrying the woods, carrying for competition or just carrying for concealed carry. So. I really recommend this holster. It it may be a little bit pricey, but I think it is probably the best option out there. And as I said, the inside is mirrored with the firearm exactly. They don't sit there and hollow it out or whatever to prevent certain, you know, scratching or, or whatever. There's not really that much friction. And the cheaper holsters that they use like Bolteron and this one if you're going to get carbon fiber as I said uses Holstex which is uh, has similar properties to Kydex but in general I would check out multiholsters.com and see if it's right for you.